Today we're doing a small weapon light review. No, no, I didn't say short, I said small, like in mini. Yes, the Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie, a 600 lumen weapon light designed to fit small and subcompact pistols. Let's take a look. Alright, so let's see what you get in the box here. In the Olight box, nice clean modern design here, 600 lumen max with a 100 meter throw. That's 300 feet to us Americans here. And I'm just trying to get this off without tearing it up. Pull out. And we get the unit itself. Nice. And underneath here we have our charger. And we have our instruction manual. Oh, and it comes with a small Allen wrench. So that's nice. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, this charger is actually uh, pretty nifty. You plug this into the wall and it attaches to this um, metal ring here, magnetically, and it um, charges through a conduction like um, your, well, like many smartphones. Uh, so you don't actually have to open any, um, any ports uh, that could potentially get, allow water in. So this is a good way to charge it and still keep it uh, waterproof, and we'll check that out later. Um, some may not like the fact that it is a built-in battery that is not user-replaceable. So if that is an issue with you, you, you probably should get um, a uh, um, the full-size Valkyrie, uh, which has a CR123 battery or, you know, Surefire or a Streamlight. Um, but if you're, if you're Focus is finding a very compact uh, weapon light, and here's here's an example, um, just just to show you uh, in terms of size. Uh, this is a Surefire XC1, which does have a user replaceable battery, uh, AAA, um, the, which is still a bit longer, not as tall, but um, the downside of this thing is that because it is um, a, a standard user replaceable battery, a AAA, it doesn't uh, it doesn't output as much um, light. This only outputs 200 lumens if you're using a lithium uh, cell, and if you're using an alkaline cell, you're maybe getting 100 lumens uh, out of this, maybe 150. Uh, but so to get anything close to what this is outputting at um, 600 lumens. Uh, you really need a, um, a higher voltage cell. So the only way that they could do that and still keep it in its small form factor was to put in a built-in battery. And these things, you know, charge, these, these hold pretty uh, pretty good charge for, for their size and they do have a fairly good l lifetime. To be honest, if you need to replace the battery, more than likely there will there'll be some sort of quantum leap in technology, and you'll probably want to replace the the weapon light anyway. But if that is a bone of contention that you can't replace the battery, well, look elsewhere. So let's see what kind of um, how this fits on various pistols. All right, let's see how well this Valkyrie PL Mini 2 fits onto a compact pistol. In this case, this is a Walther P22, which is either compact or subcompact, depending on your manufacturer's definitions of those words. But it is a very compact sized uh, pistol, and not all weapon lights would fit on this. In fact, I had to get this Claris GL1 uh, because it was, the at the time, um, the brightest flashlight weapon light that would fit on this bit of rail here. Uh, this has a unique mounting um, plate that moves forward and back to accommodate different sized pistols. It has a little rail system, but um, in comparison, this Surefire XC1, while very compact, in fact, uh, as compact as uh, the GL1, uh, the position of its crossbar it's for uh, mounting onto a rail is just too far forward. It wouldn't attach. So. While I got this because it was nice and compact, it actually did not do the job that I intended it to. So let's see if the Valkyrie PL Mini 2 does. Now this has a unique mounting system as well, different from the GL1. It is a two-part system that uh, once you loosen up uh, the quick detach latch, you can see here it has gear teeth um, that allows the unit itself to slide forward and back depending uh, to, to fit your particular pistol. And I like this quick detach latch. Uh, it's similar to the one that's on its big brother, the, the Valkyrie, the Olight Valkyrie, which I also own, and I really like that quick detach uh, feature. It's really useful for cleaning your weapon. Um, so what you should do um, is attach Loosen that latch and attach the base. Well, actually, you know what? It's probably easier to just attach the base by itself. 
Okay, so you want to attach it to, and don't latch it yet because um, the gears won't slide with the latch is closed. So with it still open, slide back your unit and then latch it down. And it is, it's a little bit of a wobble. Yeah, it's a little bit of, there's a little bit of play there. You can hear that? But forward and back, there's a little, maybe just a little bit of play. Not too much. Might be able to fix that by cinching that down, that screw down. Um, but it's forgivable. I mean, uh, it doesn't affect actuating the uh, actual unit itself. And you just press down with these two uh, wing tabs. Uh, it does not activate pushing forward like um, uh, the Surefire. Um, so it has some nice uh, texturing on there so you can feel it and you can actuate it from either either side so it's ambidextrous and it does fit if you have uh, with your support hand I can reach it with my thumb and it has momentary on uh, when you press down on it and let go or constant on if you just tap it and let go it's constant on so those are the controls it does not have a strobe mode like uh, the GL1 which some people like or don't like um, but it is plenty bright at 600 lumens, and we're going to test that out. All right, I just wanted to show you what this looks like on a full-size pistol. This is a full-sized um, Glock 17, and as you can see, the light rides well behind the muzzle, unlike if you have the full-sized uh, Valkyrie PL, just like the, the Streamlight TRL-1, uh, the front of your weapon light will uh, protrude beyond the front of your muzzle. Uh, with the, Malker, the Valkyrie PL Mini 2, it does ride mm, a good, let's say, an inch behind uh, your muzzle. Um, if you had a Glock 19, it would the your base would be right about here or so. So um, it would be more in line with a Glock 19. So if you're looking for something that's quite flush uh, and you have a Glock 19, uh, you might want to consider the Valkyrie PL Mini. Now, it does still have a little bit of that side play um, that was present in my Walther. That may annoy some folks. Personally, I don't, it's not, it doesn't annoy me, bother me at all. Um, it, there's not enough play that I would be concerned about uh, how well the controls work. So, not a big deal. Anyway, thought I'd show you what it looks like with a full-size pistol. I tested the unit using my Icebox Lumen test. Uh, I measured the amount of Lux output and I'm multiplying that by 40% or 0.4. Uh, you can learn more about that in my review on the Maglite pen light. But suffice to say, I ballparked about 600 lumens, 680, so that's close enough. Here we see the illumination pattern. The door is 10 feet away and the hotspot is about the width of the hallway. There is a soft edge to the hotspot going into the spill. Okay, that tree is about 30 feet away and about 40 feet up. And we have this other pine tree about 65 feet. And the uh, tree in the foreground is about 15 feet away. I can barely get the, I can barely see the hole which is about 120 feet away so it does have pretty decent throw for this tiny little flashlight okay six foot drop test it should be noted the manufacturer only claims impact resistance to up to three feet so i'm definitely pushing it here okay yep it works okay so we're gonna see if this is ipx6 water resistant with my high pressure hose. Yep. At the range, the light performed as expected. There was no flickering or loosening of the mount due to recoil, even after 100 rounds. And um, the weight of the light itself really was negligible. I really didn't notice any change in terms of my ability to aim uh, or accuracy of the weapon. Now, as far as holstering the weapon, well, that's the eternal challenge with any weapon light, you know, finding the appropriate holster. And everybody's got a different 
uh, preference in terms of a holster. So uh, let us know in the comments which kind of holster works with you and uh, your weapon light. So before we get into it, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like my review, consider subscribing. It helps me grow this channel and it helps you because it feeds the algorithm. You'll get served more content like this from other creators and get suggested topics that maybe you're into. So win-win. There's a lot I like about this light. It's brighter than some full-sized weapon lights. Uh, and speaking of full-sized weapon lights, I found out that the magnetic charger is not compatible with the Olight PL Pro. So don't lose this charger or else you're going to have to buy another one from Olight. And that's really the only main downside I have with this light. I kind of wish it was USB-C compatible. Otherwise, it's bright. It shoots well. So, you know, there's a lot to like about it. And if you're interested in picking up an Olight PL Mini 2, I've included a link in the video description below. Please use that link when purchasing because it helps support this channel and doesn't cost you anything. And if you really want to show your support, share this video with your Geardo friends on social media. Anyway, thanks for watching. Moondog out.